All right, here I am in lockdown. They asked me to talk about the five things that are getting me through lockdown, and I have to tell you something. There aren't five things. Uh, you know, my father once told me, he said to me, you don't respect things. And I grew up and I thought, he's right. I don't respect things, and that's okay. I never have. I probably never will. I don't own anything of value. I've never collected anything. Uh, but because they wanted me to do this video, I'll tell you five things that I am at least using as the lockdown continues. Most important, I think, of course, is my my iPad. And the reason my iPad is so important is because I read on it. Uh, I read everything, uh, you know, all my books are on it, All the, especially the books I do research on because I can uh, underline things and search for them, which has really been useful. And I've, I still have this kind of thing where I don't like to write in actual books. And so that's been very helpful to me. And the other thing I love about an iPad, I love about an iPad is that at three o'clock in the morning when I finish a book and I don't have a new one and I don't know what else to read, I can go on Amazon and just download one and that is an amazing, uh, an amazing thing. It's just to get, or, or iBooks, which I also like. Uh, so that, that is a big deal. I probably use that more than anything else I use. My Sonos, which I can't bring you because it's wired in, but my Sonos is my music system. It is, uh, as I've often said, the reason I think that uh, so many writers are alcoholics is because alcohol is one of the few things that makes the receptors stop, that you're always receiving so much information. Uh, you're always f feeling the grass grow. Writers feel the grass grow if they're good writers. And it's all a, a lot of sensory information. And so you can be a drunk, which is fun, but for me, music is another thing. If I can sit at the end of the day and turn on some music after my wife has gone to sleep and sit by the fire and uh, play my Sonos, I can be extremely, it, it, that can really calm you down. Uh, however, that doesn't mean, that does not mean that I wanna let whiskey go altogether. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I have been extremely, extremely abstemious during the lockdown because it would be very easy to just start drinking and say, tell me, you know, let me know when the lockdown is over and I'll sober up. But uh, no, I've decided I'm going to be really, really abstemious. So I not, I drink very rarely, but when I do, it's Macallan 12, the Macallan 12. You know, people, this is the thing, people who don't know whiskey, they think that the older a whiskey gets, the better it is. And the older a whiskey gets, the more expensive it is. It's true, but it also kind of loses, you know, there are some whiskeys that just hit a perfect age. For me, Macallan 12, there's, you can pay thousands of dollars for Macallan 25 or, you know, some of the other things, uh, other special kinds. But for me, a simple uh, Macallan 12, maybe in, this one's from a sherry oak cask, cask which I like, uh, is terrific. And just one of these at the end of the day really is a, a beautiful thing. And, you know, here is the thing. I'm, I'm one of these people, I don't collect anything. I've never really collected anything. I've been in a lot of situations where people have kind of moved up the ladder. I've seen a lot of young people uh, acquire you know, become successes and all this stuff. And they always start buying stuff. They always start collecting stuff. Guys, it's guys especially. They start collecting stuff and they start watches or, uh, you know, antique cars or stuff like this. And I, the, the my face, like I'm interested in this, I have to like crank it up like, you know, like a machine because I just don't care. I truly don't care about things. Uh, <laughs> once, once when I lived in England, I had a dishonest accountant who didn't pay for my storage and they auctioned off everything I owned and I lost every single thing I owned. I didn't even blink. I mean, my wife was a little upset, but I did not even blink because there's just nothing uh, that I care about. However, however, because I do like a good whiskey, because I do like a good whiskey, I also like a good glass, a good cut glass. And I have a number of really, really fine glasses glasses. Among my favorite are my Another Kingdom glasses that were sent to me by a fan, which I really appreciated. And they're, that's a really nice glass. There is something about the experience of uh, drinking whiskey out of a good cut glass crystal uh, that just does improve, uh, improve it. And I really do appreciate that. And that's uh, something that you know, at the end, of, like I said, at the end of some days, I will have a nightcap and it does, uh, it does, I like it to be a bit of an experience. Turn on the Sonos, pour myself a drink, sit and listen to music and have a drink. And that's a, a, a lovely end to the day. I just don't do it too much because otherwise you'll never see me again. And the final thing, you know, I had to choose between a computer, which of course you need a computer, especially if you're a writer, but I could write with a pen. I started out writing with a pen, but here's something the old fashioned that I still have to have. And I didn't realize it until recently when I ran out, I still need actual books 
that I want to read, that I am reading. So I'm reading uh, usually about three or four books at a time. Uh, usually one of them is nonfiction and it's usually for some kind of research, some sort of thing that I want to know about for my work. Uh, then I'm usually reading a, a classic fiction or excellent fiction or fiction that will inform the way I think about the world and the way I think about people. And then finally I'm reading uh, entertainment. And that's like the last thing I'll look at before I go to sleep at night. Uh, right now, I'm reading uh, one of the uh, Mitch Rapp novels. Uh, you know, I'm usually reading some kind of thriller or mystery story or science fiction or horror. And I love it if that is an actual paperback book. Uh, you know, uh, there's something about having a, an actual book in my hand. And recently, when I finished uh, the Daniel Silva novel, which was the last thriller I was reading, I realized that I was out of actual physical books that I wanted to read. And so I desperately went to uh, Amazon and ordered a bunch of them, and I'm waiting for those to show up. In the meanwhile, meantime, I'm reading one of the rap novels on the iPad. But I have to, I really do like that book, and that does keep me steady. I love, I love the feeling of a book in my hand, especially as I'm falling asleep. So those are five things that uh, are getting me through the uh, lockdown. But to be honest with you, uh, I could do without anything except the things that I work on and read. And uh, my, I kind of fond of my wife. But <laughs> it's not, it's not things that get you through. It's not things that get me through. Anyway, it's all the, uh, all the, all the work and all the love and all the people uh, who keep talking to me, which I think is great. That's my, that's my response. Before you go, one last thing. Hit the subscribe button so that you stay up to date on all our content.